have only one nose. All right, point to your one nose. You have only one tongue. Now stick out your tongue and look at it. Yep, only one. Okay, well, can you say one while you're sticking your tongue out? Then. <laughs> no, yeah, me neither. All right, can you think of when we would need to use the number one? Well, what if you wanted to buy a sandwich? One sandwich, please. Otherwise, you'd have too many sandwiches. I mean, but what about, what if somebody asks you, how many horns does a unicorn have? One. Right here. Point to the cake that has only one candle. That's right. All the other cakes have more candles. Do you know what comes after the number one? Two. That's right. All right, come on, let's go meet the number two. I have two eyes, one, two, two ears, one, two, and two hands, one, two, and two feet, one, and two. If you have two of something, you have a pair, like a pair of socks, that's two socks, or a pair of sneakers, that's two sneakers. But you know what else is a pair? Twins. Find the bug that has only two spots. There she is. The other bugs all had more than two spots, didn't they? Yeah. One, two, and what comes next? Three. Let's go meet the number three. There are three sides to every triangle. One, two, three. So if you want to draw triangles, you're gonna have to draw three sides every time. I mean, just, just so you know. I'm waiting for the bus with a number three on it. Not that one. Nope, not that one either. Hey, there's our bus. And there are three buses. One, two, three. When else do we see three of something? Well, Neptune carries a trident. That's like a long fork with three prongs. All right, let's see what are we up to. One, two, three, and what comes next? Four. Let's go meet the number four. My dog has four paws, and so does my cat. One, two, three, four. I bet that's why they run so fast. Where else do we see the number four? Hmm. Well, what if we count up the wheels on a car? One, two, three, four. Four wheels on a car. Are there four cookies on this plate? One, two, three, four. Yes. Are there four cookies on this plate? One, two, only two cookies. Hey, someone's been eating my cookies. So we counted up to four. One, two, three, four. What comes next? Five. Let's go meet the number five. Did you know that starfish have five arms? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Can you imagine having five arms? Ugh, it would take so long to get dressed. Give me five. Do you know why we say that? Well, because you have five fingers on each hand. One, two, three, four, five. Which school has five fish in it? Does this one? One, two, three, no. This one has fewer than five. What about this one? Whoa. Okay, no, that has a lot more than five. Okay, well, let's try this side again. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, this school has five fish in it. By the way, did you know that a group of fish is called a school? You do now. Nice job learning how to count to five. It can be a handful, 
one, two, three, four, five, a whole hand. And then there's a starfish, which has five arms. So what comes next? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go meet the number six. Bees love the number six. Well, don't believe me? Have you ever looked closely at a honeycomb? See all these little chambers? There are six sides to every one of those tiny little rooms. One, two, three, four, five, six. These shapes are called hexagons. That means a shape with six sides. There's another connection between bees and the number six. Bees have six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, every insect has six legs. Look, grasshoppers, one, two, three, four, five, six, and ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boxes have six sides. Let's count to be sure. One, two, three, four, and don't forget the top and the bottom, five, six. We learned a lot about using the number six. So what are we gonna learn next? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Come on, let's go meet the number seven. There are seven days in the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That makes seven. Are there seven seahorses here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, there's only five. Oh, well, let's see about now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Hi guys. Some people think seven is a lucky number. Maybe it is. So we learned how to count to the number seven, but what comes next? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go meet the number eight. Eight is a number that comes in pretty handy. We use it to count the planets in our solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Eight planets in our solar system. Or you could use it to count other important things, like octopus legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight octopus legs. And believe me, you're gonna need to count octopus legs a lot when you grow up. Seriously. Are there enough shoes here for an octopus? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have one extra. Wait, do octopuses even wear shoes? Some people think eight is a lucky number. Maybe they're right. Now we know how to count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And next comes nine. Let's go meet the number nine. There are nine players on a baseball team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Play ball. Are there enough people on this team to play baseball? One, two, three, four. Nope, there are fewer than nine. How about this group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's perfect. What else do we know about the number nine? Well, sometimes when people are really, really happy, they'll say they're on cloud nine. I wonder what makes cloud nine so special. Pretty cute. <laughs> Do you know what comes after nine? Let's count and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go meet the number ten. I have ten fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And toes? Well, I have my shoes on, but we can count these. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fingers and ten toes. You might think about the number ten during the countdown for a rocket ship. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <sighs> Blast off's my favorite part. How many pumpkins are there in this pile? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many pumpkins are in this pile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A pile of ten pumpkins. We counted all the way to the number ten. Do you know what comes after ten? Eleven. I'd like to meet the number 11. How about you? Keep counting. 